Hello, it's Classy here back with another Tribes video. And today, instead of showcasing a single unit or a single team, we're showcasing a full account on server eight. This is a shared account between me and Joel. As you can see, um, we have spent some money on this account. I wouldn't say fully whaling out. Like for example, on the Rene Festival, we didn't whale out too hard, even though that was a good place to whale out. And he started this account during season one, so right at the beginning of the game. And that's why we're level 91 and have a lot of the OG units. So hopefully this showcase um, allows you to see that the OG units are actually still really strong. All right, let's just quickly go through the, some of the best of the best. You are Happy and Kakashi, two OG units that will probably never be bad. They just, they could stand up damage wise to power creep units and kit wise, their kits might be better than some of the power creep units. You know, your heavy has the revenge kit style. He has two stuns with his jutsu and uh, second skill. Pretty insane. Kakashi insta jutsu OP. Insane damage on this lightning blade, even without power creep and paralyze. And then he can boost his critical damage um, with his fourth skill and start stacking crit buffs. Now we have a six star six tails. You may ask why. And that's because he's one of the few AOE power creeps that we're using just because we don't have some of the older ones like Sasori and Sublime. We don't really have him at five star plus, so we're using six tails instead. He's basically on the same level as Sublime, if not better. So we know what six tails does. We've done a showcase uh, pretty recently on this. He's insane. He just does like a million damage plus AOE sometimes. It depends. Um, and for PVE, a really great help. So there we go. First three units. This. This is the fourth unit, it's T Itachi or Itachi Criminal. So many buffs. He gives those offensive buffs with his Jutsu. He gives defensive buffs and more offensive buffs with his fourth skill. Such a great support unit and AOE power creep. He nukes too, he can nuke those D units. Speaking of nuking D units, we have Kirin absolutely destroys defensive buffs and stuff with his Jutsu. Gives it attack buffs to his allies. Also a unit that would be excellent. Even, even has AoE stun too. Forgot about that. So yeah, so far, only two power creep units. Uh, we're not really going to talk about this because he's just built up because of that event, right? He's not necessarily that good anymore. He dons super underrated in arena. Uh, he can reduce status effect chance, which is the big one for everybody on his team. He nukes D units as well, especially if he takes more damage and has good defensive buffs. That's not guard rate related. Guard rate, who, this is the king of guard rate right here. He used to be one of the best, if not the best tank. Nowadays, he gets outshined by some others, but he's still really good. Zaynmu Jiraiya, AoE stun and burn. He heals himself so much. Um, a lot of different defensive buffs too, I think critical suppression rate, damage reduction rate. Yeah, so also not guard rate related buffs. So far, how many power creep units do we have? Still two, I think. Yeah, honestly, pretty good. Um, here's the third, Kid Kakashi, super underrated. I've already done two videos on him. He boosts, look at all these boosts that he does. He boosts tactical Shinobi Defense Shinobi, all allies DIR and C critical rate um, if they're attacking first. So in PvE, he'll buff every single turn, which is extremely useful for like FG and Abyss. You know, his Jutsu also affects different types as well. Uh, OG Datara, also underrated. He buffs critical damage increase rate and critical suppression rate. He has a really unique critical support kit and the AoE stun also. 
Warto's just kind of built up, but he nukes really hard. Like before power creep, he was one of the hardest nukers. So pretty good. He can still be used too. So three power creeps so far. Here's number four, I believe. Uh, yeah. Um, so Santa Naruto was the free unit. Most people have him. He's extremely OP, honestly. He does so much damage. He has Confuse, which messes up rotations. He also has like a self-boost kit as well. But it's not necessarily a revenge kit because it depends on the enemy being defeated. But he, he will be defeating enemies, so you don't need to worry. And then here comes Mama Sakura. Such a great support unit for an SR. Has AoE stun, has healing, has attack buffs. You know, just provides so much to the team. Um, SR heavy. A lot of defensive buffs. Status effect up, which is the big one. He'll increase the chance of his allies to uh, inflict status effects. Um, he also has a status effect himself, so even better. Chio is just too OP. We don't want to talk about her. Sai, so much chakra generation. He's basically a necessity for every game mode now. Right. So those are like the main guys I want to show on this account. As you can see, there was not actually that much power creep in the big units that we've built. I think four so far. I mean, even going through these, we don't have any power creep units right now. There's also some other units that are useful for PvE, like uh, Haku against T units, Blossom for tribe gauge, Sarda for her tribe. Yamato is super underrated as a tank. I mean, obviously at this level, you'll have much better options, but I'm probably going to showcase him because he's quite underrated. Like, I've heard people just decide not to build him even though they don't have better tanks. Like, if you have a five-star Yamato from item summons versus like a three-star Gara, you shouldn't be using that three-star Gara. Shikamaru, great for PVE. Here's Sublime. We didn't pull him during um, his event, so we only have him three stars, but I don't think we're going to use so, him that much, honestly, just because we have six tails fully built. Jiraiya, tribe gauge stuff. We don't have Papa Sasuke's tribe, so we're not going to use him. This is probably a character I'm going to build next. He's just so good. This is going to be another power creep uh, buffer as well for A units, I think. And also buffs allies on Jutsu. And yeah, um, besides that, a lot of the units down here, we just aren't using that much. So yeah, and here's a sad Sasori. As for who we don't have, um, yeah, we're missing a good amount of decent units, I'd say. But I don't think we necessarily need them anymore at this point. Link bonuses are a thing, though, which is really annoying. So yeah, um, it says 600, like 38 k power but i think we can hit 660 um the reason why we nerfed our power is for arena purposes so we can hit top three arena consistently i think this is the power team i'll see how okay yeah if i replaced gara just like this we could probably hit, yeah, 662k, which is pretty solid, honestly, for not whaling too much and also not playing during some of the events. Oh, we could actually hit, yeah, we can actually hit higher. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, it's still 662k. As for arena team, um, oh, yeah, the, the 665 now. It, it, it depends on who's benefiting more from the buffs.
is pretty interesting. Yeah, um, for arena team. I mean, I'll build one right now, I guess. This is kind of not the full arena team, again, because we're nerfing ourselves. But uh, is this, what is this? I think this is like FG or something. Hit TP. All right, I'll build it here. Oh, we can even hit higher, actually. So I'll build it here. Right, so I want to go with uh, this. This is usually a good energy cell. It protects Psy pretty often. Now, there's an argument for Psy first. I'm not sure at this level. If people are using stuns a lot, you might, might be better to put him in the middle. But usually, it's better for him to go first just because of the skill 2 proc. Um, this is usually a pretty solid cell. This allows Kieran to debuff Tiatachi to nuke and then Kakashi to finish off an enemy. A lot of people like using this, same for this. Obviously six tails is going to be here. We could do like something like this, just to give six tails some defense which is necessary. This also splits up the single target stunts, as you can see, like this. Yeah. Um, I think that that'd probably be the arena team. It's, it sucks that we have to cut Kid Kakashi already. I mean, he, he could be used, but... I feel like... Hidan just brings more defense to the cell, which is necessary, along with the damage reduction rate that we already get. Let's see, but technically, if I put Kid Kakashi, he would buff these three and also these two. That's five buffs, so that's pretty nutty. We'll see. I guess I'll test it out. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just have to test it out, right? That'd probably be my arena team. Maybe Kid Kakashi in. Um, and this is the nerf team. So that's a trick in arena. If you want to maybe get some more points by facing people you know you can beat, like if you nerf yourself, they might be placed higher in your opponent's list. Also, if you know there's some people you can't beat, you can nerf yourself lower. But obviously, speed is the most important factor. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video.